Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. We are at September 26th, and this is the third day of our 40 days of prayer for our nation. Uh, and we are using the If My People, a uh, 40-day prayer guide for our nation and praying through it all the way up to the election in November. So this morning, uh, we're going to go with day three. And I thank you and I apologize for being a little bit late this morning. Uh, you know how it can be sometimes when we have time and get away from us. I'm going to work really hard to do better from here on out. Um, and also a reminder, real quick, that tomorrow, day four, will be included in the prayer time at on our um, our live stream for Christ Church Pueblo West. So be sure to, if you're not at, at our service, and you're certainly welcome to come. Love to have you there uh, in the parking lot. But we will be live streaming, and so you'll be able to check out the the prayer that goes along with day four tomorrow morning as part of our drive-in worship service at Christ Church Pueblo West. So let's get to it. Um, each day I like to uh, go back and to read kind of the introduction so that those of you who may not have been with us um, before get a chance to understand what's going on here. So once again, this is If My People, a 40-day prayer guide for our nation. Since our nation's very first days, God's greatest movements in our midst have been fashioned and sustained by prayer. From the signing of our earliest documents to our triumphs over days of darkness, to the spiritual awakenings that have sustained our faith and resolve over the centuries. Throughout scripture and throughout our history as a nation, persisting, prevailing, intentional, and never-ending prayer has always brought the presence of God. How vast are the possibilities when we pray? Prayer is a wonderful power placed by the Almighty God into the hands of his saints. When we humbly seek his face in prayer, he is moved to act on our behalf and accomplish his desires for us. And when we seek God in prayer for our leaders, we impact the very direction our nation will take. So this morning, day three, the, the scripture that goes with this morning says this. It's Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be, known, be, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Great passage. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Here's our prayer. Join me. Father, the worries of each day are ever around us. Conflict both within and without threatens the peace we so desperately want and seek. Father, we come to you with open hearts, seeking your guidance and being content with all that you have given us as a nation. Guard our hearts, O Lord, so that we will be faithful to you and let your peace of your presence surround us each and every day. In the name of Jesus, we say, amen. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Remember, tomorrow we have a wonderful and amazing announcement that you won't want to miss at Christ Church Pueblo West. We have room for you in the parking lot. Come and enjoy worship, drive in worship with us. And if you can't be there, tune in right here on Christ Church Pueblo West Facebook page, and you can watch live streaming at 930 Mountain Time. If you miss that, it will stay on the Facebook page, or you can go to our YouTube channel, Christ Church Bubba West YouTube channel, and you will be able to find it there shortly after it, it finishes airing live. So once again, thanks again for joining me in praying for our country. Let's keep that up. Let's keep the prayers flowing and let's pray right through this election and let's bring God into the mix. Have a great Saturday. Talk to you soon.